Hello, pink and purple, Mrs. Latner. I'm way up here. Uh, I got this new little video, little holder for my phone so I can take videos. So I'm, I'm putting it to good use. So we're gonna work on doing some shapes today. Trudy shape. So I took my piece, I made some Play-Doh from Mrs. D's uh, Play-Doh recipe on Instagram. And now I'm going to make, I'm gonna put them in little balls and then I'm gonna make worms, worms or snakes, okay? I'm using a piece of parchment so it doesn't get sticky on my table. So I have, oh, he broke, that's all right. I have one straight piece. Now I wanna make a triangle. So I wanna get, I make another one. Triangle or three straight lines. All right, so make the triangle with me. Three straight lines. All right, there we go. I have a triangle. Now, on our triangle, these long flat sides are called sides, or, okay? These are sides. Where they meet, the pointy parts where they meet are called vertices. So my triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. All right, let's turn this into a square. Just by moving it, we're just gonna move it a little bit and we're gonna add one more side. Now a square is different from a rectangle because all the sides are the same length. A square is all of them are the same, all right? So we have one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four vertices or edges. Now to turn this into a rectangle, I can do that by moving this one down. All right, I still have four pieces, but two sides are long and two sides are short. So there's my long side. I can stretch him out and make him long. Now that is a rectangle. Now we have the same amount of sides and vertices. We still have one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four vertices. It's still the same. All right, a circle. Let's see if we can make, I think I need to add a little bit more flour to my batch here. It's a little slippery. All right, so for a circle, make your snake. A little bit harder. And then you just curl him. So he's a circle. We're gonna pretend he's a perfect circle. Okay, circle has no vertices because it's round and it only has one edge. It goes all the way around. It's one and one, okay? I know a hexagon is something else we've been looking at. So hexagon R, there's the top. There's six sides. There's the bottom and then there's two sides Two links on each side. And go like this. Again, this is like a stop sign. So let's count our edges. I'm gonna go out this way. All right, I think that's pretty close. It's the best I can do, P2. So one, two, three, four, five, six edges. Now let's count the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six vertices and six edges on a hexagon. All right, so go ahead and have some fun making some shapes with some Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh, ask mom if you can make some. Uh, it's flour, salt, water, and a little bit of oil. Uh, and that's how you make it. And then food coloring for the pretty purple color. All right, have fun.